Hey friends, Merry Almost Christmas. It truly is the most wonderful time of the year. My favorite part about Christmas is celebrating the best gift that God has ever given us, Jesus. Spending time with my family, giving and getting gifts, ooh, and drinking hot cocoa with lots and lots of mini marshmallows. On the count of three, I want you all to say your absolute favorite thing about the Christmas season. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, awesome, awesome answers. See, Christmas truly is the most wonderful time of the year. And friends, today we get to learn more about God and his purpose for you and me. How special. So let's kick things off with just a little story. Is everyone ready? Say, oh yeah, with me. Oh yeah, perfect. It was Christmas time. Our story starts in the back of an old toy store high up on a dusty shelf next to baseballs, yo-yos, and a toy airplane sat a beautiful rag doll in a blue checkered dress named Dolly. The shop was full of cheerful songs, Christmas smells, and merry voices. And Dolly loved sitting on her shelf, taking it all in. More than anything else, she wanted to make someone else happy for Christmas. But there was one small problem. Even without that silly button, every toy in the shop still loved Dolly. And late one night, she heard a little voice calling her name. She looked down from her shelf and saw a little toy with a shiny red blinking bulb on the very top of his head. His name was Robbie the Robot. Just like Dolly's button was missing, Robbie's red bulb was broken until he went to see the toy maker. He fixed Robbie and Robbie was good as new. The toy maker told Robbie something that he would never ever forget. No toy is ever too broken to fulfill its purpose. So Robbie told Dolly that he could take her to see the toy maker. But Dolly thought to herself, do I really need to be fixed? She thought and thought and thought and then decided she just didn't. It was just one little missing button. In fact, she thought today just might be the day. Then all of a sudden, the shopkeeper took Dolly off the shelf and put a brand new doll in her place. She was thrown into a plastic bin by the back door. She soon realized she was laying on another toy's arm and his name was Mickey the baseball player. She learned from Mickey that there was only one of two things that happened to toys in that box. Either they got bought and never played with because, well, they're just broken, or after Christmas passed, they got thrown into the trash. Dolly couldn't believe it. She tried to encourage Mickey to not give up hope. She told him that he could still be loved and he could still fulfill his purpose. But you see, Mickey, he only had one arm. He thought, what kid would ever want a baseball player with just one arm? I can't even hold a bat. But that night, Dolly could not wait to find Robbie and talk to him again. She climbed out of the bin and was almost to the remote control toy aisle when the lights suddenly flickered on. Dolly froze and fell down as she heard footsteps getting closer. It was the shopkeeper's son who come to sweep the floors. He stopped and picked up the old doll. Then he noticed her missing eye. He headed back toward the bin, but suddenly took a right turn out the back door and tossed poor Dolly into a cardboard box. When the door slammed behind him, Dolly sat up, panicked. How would she get back inside to talk to Robbie? Then she heard a scratchy squeak above her. It was Robbie climbing out of the window. He told her to follow him. He was going to take her to see the toy maker. So they set off making their way through the heavy snow. They walked, 
and walked and walked and Dolly continued to get more and more worried. Would they ever make it? After facing an impossibly large fence and escaping the meanest old cat in town, Dolly finally made it. But where was Robbie? Robbie distracted the cat so Dolly could go see the toy maker. After she squeezed through the gate and looked back, Robbie was nowhere to be found. She collapsed on the dark street in the cold snow, sure that she's never going to bring anyone joy for Christmas. Just then, a man's voice called out to her. He asked what she was doing there and then told her that she would come with him. But Dolly asked, where, who are you? He picked her up from the snow and said kindly, my child, I am the toy maker. I'm taking you home with me. Then the toy maker took a soft rag and cleaned off her dress. He found a needle and thread and a matching button. Before she knew it, she was good as new, shiny button eyes and all. Then he took her and an armful of other toys from his workbench and put them in a creaky wicker basket and started down the road. He told her it was true what Dolly's friend told her. You're never too broken to be someone's Christmas gift. There is always hope as long as you hold on to it. Now they were going somewhere to help someone else hold on to theirs. They entered a big house with lots and lots of children of all different ages. Dolly noticed there weren't any grown-ups around. The toy maker walked down the hall and took his basket into the room of a young girl with tears in her eyes. The girl was wearing a blue dress just like Dolly's. When she saw Dolly, her sad eyes lit up like fireworks. She picked up the rag doll out of the basket and hugged her so tightly. Dolly looked back at the toy maker as she lay in the girl's arms. As he walked out of the room, she whispered to him, what about the other toys? Will you rescue them as well? The toy maker smiled back at her. In time, my dear, never forget, there's a purpose for every toy. The toy maker went back to his workshop to work on other toys. Robbie and Mickey were there too, with the biggest smiles you can imagine. Wow, wasn't that an incredible story? And while this was such a great story, I have a true story that I would just love to share with you. See friends, we are like Dolly, Robbie, and Mickey, and the toy maker. The toy maker is like God. Just like Dolly was broken, we are broken too because we sin. God's word, the Bible, tells us in the book of Romans that everyone has sinned. So what does that mean? Well, sin just simply means imperfection, like when we miss the mark, like when we disobey our parents, lie, maybe cheat on a test at school. See, sin, it separates us from God. And did you know that the price for our sin is actually death? But here's the good news. God loves us way too much to let us be separated from him forever. So God gave us the best gift ever, Jesus. And Jesus lived a perfect life, never, ever sinning. But then he died on the cross for you and me so that we could have a relationship with him forever. How special is that? See, just like the toy maker cleaned up Dolly and fixed her brokenness, God wants to do the same thing for you. Friends, here's the truth. You are never too broken to fulfill your purpose. And that's our bottom line for this weekend. So what is your purpose? Well, that's a great question. Your purpose is to love God with all of your heart, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. God gave you and me hope when he sent Jesus. And when we start our relationship with Jesus, we are made new, and then we can help other people have hope and be made new. But it first starts with you. Maybe that's asking questions, learning more about Jesus, or taking your next step in your relationship with him. 
And friends, there is so much joy and love and peace and hope with Jesus. Merry Christmas, friends. I cannot wait for you all to learn more about God's love and purpose for you in FB Kids. Bye.